Hi, everyone. Welcome and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Passive Income Through Multifamily Real Estate Podcast. I'm your co-host, Lolita, also joined by Kyle. Today on the show, we have Eric Upchurch here with us. Eric, thanks so much for being here. How's it going? Thank you for having me. I've been looking forward to this for quite some time, so appreciate being here. Awesome. The pleasure is ours. Before we get into the interview, here's a little bit about Eric. Eric is a distinguished Army Special Operations veteran who grew up in central Iowa. He has been investing in real estate for 13 years throughout the country and serves as COO and co-founder of Active Duty Passive Income and is a senior managing partner at ADPI Capital. A few things Eric has under his belt, a 212-unit multifamily syndication near Atlanta, Georgia, a 438-unit mobile home park syndication in central Pennsylvania, and a 2 million residential portfolio in California and Kansas. And that's just among many more things that I'll let Eric get into. So with that being said, Eric, could you please tell the listeners a little bit more about yourself and what you currently do? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I want to preface this whole thing just by saying I'm just a regular guy. Um, <laughs> and, you know, through persistence and determination, um, I've done a lot of learning along the way, um, a lot of trial and error to find a kind of hone down what I am and what I do today. So for those of you out there listening who are trying to figure it out, just stay the course and keep trying and keep plugging away. Um, that sounded maybe more like the end of the interview, but um, I like to say that because it's important. Um, so what, what, I, what I've done, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about um, after Iowa, you mentioned um, I moved to California where I ended up going to college and then after college entered um, uh, the service as an enlisted service member. I've known for a long time about myself that I am, um, I'm an influencer. I like to, um, actually my, my life purpose and mission is to educate, empower, and to help people grow. I loved being a non-commissioned officer and I had 27 soldiers um, in my uh, direct uh, command and I was able to encourage them all to go to college and really bring them up. And so now I'm translating that into all of the things that I do outside the service, which is, um, you know, with active duty, passive income, we're teaching veterans to kind of change their financial literacy. Um, we intend very soon, 2019 and 2020, to be uh, giving free seminars all across the country uh, and, and short seminars, not three day type seminars, but just going to military installations and, and on the private sector, just going to local venues, um, anybody that'll have us and go and teach veterans who are out or even if we're near an installation active duty members who want to come and attend and just let them know what their benefits are and, and really our passion behind that comes from the fact that we know that there is a um, just a, a lack of financial literacy in the military community and there are some distinct advantages that only the United States service uh, people who have served in the United States uh, military can take advantage of. That's what ADPI's mission is, is to uh, is financial, financial freedom for those who serve. So it's a big mission and there's a couple million people we need to reach out to, but um, we're getting there. So that's what I do. Awesome. Uh, yep. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. So can you tell us the story of how active duty passive income kind of came to life? Yeah, sure. Our, um, our CEO, Mark Sitch, he's a third generation immigrant from Ukraine and a current active duty Marine Corps helicopter pilot. He's actually redesignating, but um, he flies big CH-53 helicopters, which is one of the United States' largest helicopters. Um, so he uh, likes to talk about Automobile University. Um, when he was driving around um, in his younger life, um, and he actually grew up mostly in Ukraine. When he was a teenager, he moved to the U.S., uh, but he was, he's an American citizen because his parents are American citizens. Um, anyway, so he likes to talk about Automobile University where he learned about just the American dream and what it's like. And so he stumbled across um, some podcasts and some books and that uh, led him to understanding the ins and outs of real estate investing as a whole. And um, so then he, the first thing that active duty passive income did, well, he came up with the name, obviously it's a play on words, active duty passive income. And after the, the Naval Academy, he came up with the, um, with the, the company name and kind of the brand and logo, didn't exactly know where it was going to go other than he had written an ebook and started uh, recording with some friends um, 
the uh, Military Real Estate Investing Academy, which we currently have as kind of our, our cornerstone to get people. Um, it's like 37 lessons that teaches you why you would want to invest in real estate as a military service member or veteran, all the way to how to and all the ins and outs. We also have a free VA loan mastery course and some other stuff that's specific to military. So it all started with Markion with a dream and a vision to kind of just just dive into the American dream and how do I fulfill this? And there's, it's just such a unique country and all these benefits in real estate that, that I even take for granted sometimes that just grew up here and this is what we get, right? So he had a great, uh, a great uh, unique kind of outlook on that and he has allowed this to grow and, um, and add, we're now adding team members and I was the third member to, um, to come into the, to the company as a co-founder. Um, so I've been part of ADPI since uh, December of 2017. And um, yeah, so that's, I uh, kind of started off as the investment chief and now kind of gravitated towards, we still wear a lot of hats, but I'm COO and, um, and one of the co-founders, but I, I help people with their getting started with their first investment as well. Great. I love your mission. I love how focused you guys are. So congrats on your success so far. Thank you. So it looks like you guys are involved in several asset classes and real estate strategies. How do you decide what's the best fit is for each client? Yeah, so we actually have, now there's five of us on the team and we all have our own roles. So we'll start out by giving someone, anybody, a freedom session is what we call it. So it's a 15 to 30 minute phone call conversation we'll set up on Calendly. And uh, so we'll start with Mark Yon as an introduction to um, Mark Yon Sitch, who's our CEO, uh, be an introduction to who we are, what we're about, how we can help. And then he'll eventually, he'll just sit, kind of feel it out and say, if the person says, well, I already kind of understand what I need to do, I'm interested in a turnkey property. I just want to get started. They'll, then he'll go, okay, well, you need to talk to Eric and then they'll talk to me next. If they say, man, I've got some debt and I've got some other issues and we're just really reading into what each individual soldier or veteran is doing and what they need in life um, and where their path is right now. And so if they say that they're in debt, they go to Tim Kelly. He's our financial foundation chief. He will take care of helping them kind of the, with the Dave Ramsey mindset. And I, I kind of squint when I say that because um, he will help them create a, a budget and help them achieve kind of financial, the, the, the foundation of, of financial freedom, which is getting yourself out of debt. So we do everything from people who just have tons of debt to all the way through now multifamily syndication of you know we're getting to that point now so uh, there's a lot of steps in between there but and and certainly not teaching everybody everything um but but seeing what people are comfortable with what their goals are what they want to achieve and when and then helping them lead down the path that's best for them so okay and can you maybe cover some of the uh, maybe top four asset classes that you guys like to focus on yeah. So, um, for active duty service members, um, I would like to say, and I had a lot of, uh, soldiers myself that would come home from an deployment with, you know, 20, 30, $40,000 saved. And, um, oftentimes they're living in the barracks and collecting basic allowance for housing and they don't have a lot of expenses or they're living off post collecting basic, basic allowance for housing. They don't have a ton of expenses. Maybe they're house hacking their personal residence and they can save money, but most of the time it was coming back from a deployment and they have cash. So for that reason, and because active duty service members are very busy, um, I like a very passive investment. And also, so I'm, I'm bleeding into turnkey, a turnkey single family property. And the reason I say that is because, and I know that's not the, the fastest way to build wealth, but it's a great way to take the first step towards investing. And a lot of people who just don't know exactly what to do, they can maybe dive into our course, they can read our book for free, Military House Hacking, which we published uh, last November. And they can learn about some very simple ways that they can just take that first step. I did the same thing. In fact, I have a lot of horizontal movement in, in my learning curve with I started with turnkey as well. My parents are doing turnkey. So it's a very slow and steady and relatively safe way to get into the market. And kind of like that UPW firewalk, at, and Tony Robbins unleashed the power within firewalk. It's just getting past the threshold and into the fire. You just have to get in there and, and really um, take action. So for somebody who's very active, maybe it's a doctor or a lawyer or someone else who just has a very uh, involved uh, W2 job and they can't step out and go flip their own houses or go, you know, look for multifamily properties, or whatever turnkey is a good starting point. So, and I want to correlate that too, to the people who, um, squint or people who cringe when I say, yeah, Dave Ramsey, because there's the people who love Dave Ramsey and there's the people who are like, oh, no way. But there's this middle ground where 
you kind of need a financial foundation first. And then Dave Ramsey is step one. Step two is using credit cards correctly and leveraging your debt and all this other stuff and good debt versus bad debt. So same with, uh, with turnkey. It's really important just to get in the game and then see what you like. I mean, let me just uh, interrupt myself here. Um, when I'm talking about that horizontal movement in some of my investments that I've done, um, I've done turnkey, I've done tax liens, I've done uh, self-directed IRA investing with first trust deeds, I've done um, you know mobile home park investing, a private lending, a whole bunch of other things. And so now I know that I hate tax liens. I'm never gonna buy another tax lien in my life. And I know that turnkey was a little too slow for me. I love it as far as what it is and who it's for. But, um, but now I'm, you know, moving on to the next thing and I can focus on multifamily. So why do you not like tax liens? Just to uh, go off on a little tangent. Why, why would you not like 19% interest, Eric? That's ridiculous. <laughs> so, so I read 19% solution and I attended a free, um, like a 90 minute boot camp and bought into the whole, like, yeah, you know, you can, you can buy tax liens and whatever to me. I've lost some money on tax liens. I've, um, I've put money into tax liens. I have considerable amount of money still in tax liens, which I wish I had back. It just, it's just too boring and I don't feel good about it. I don't have enough communication with the, the provider that, that I purchased them through. And it's something that now if I want to force a foreclosure on, I can, but that's going to cost me money. I don't really know about it. I don't really care to learn about it. So I'm in this position where I'm just waiting for seven years to, for something to happen. Right. So, I was smart enough though, um, in that case, to uh, look at the parcel that I was uh, putting the lien on or that I was buying the lien from to make sure it was either, it was, it's a vacant lot, it's in between two buildings or, or there's a building on it. So <laughs> at least uh, I was smart enough to do that. But yeah, I love that because you're talking about what I always say, right? Which it's important that you invest in something that aligns with your mission, vision and yes. values. And so just because you're making a little bit of money at it, maybe it just doesn't give you that passion. You know, yeah. maybe that's not the asset class you should go with. So you really have to make sure you have your goals in alignment first and then then pick the investment that best um, and kind of aligns with that. So absolutely. Awesome. So talk about your mentorship and education platform for military members and veterans. How do you get them started? Yeah. So first off, we tell everybody to go, go to our website and get all the free stuff. Um, we try and put out as much free content as we can. And, and with um, a lot of, uh, you know, initial phone calls. So we have the free book, we have the free VA loan mastery course and the book did, did the book hit number one on Amazon um, in, in nine categories. And it's been a good success and we're trying to make, we just made the book as cheap as we could on Amazon and now it's free on our website for anybody who wants to get it. So that has a lot of, it's a very easy read and has a lot of good resources in there. Um, but we have, uh, we also have a free social network on the Mighty Networks platform right now. We're going to be uh, eventually private, pri it'll be a private brand with this logo on it and stuff like that. But right now it's in the Mighty Networks platform. It's called Start the Spark. It's like Facebook. It's interactive like Facebook, um, except um, it is all military and, um, no advertisements. So, and it's just a real estate forum for military members who go and sign up. And we have several hundred members in there that are talking about real estate and can mentor each other even. And we are in there. Our whole team is in there talking about stuff. Uh, we have the free Facebook group, active duty, passive income. Um, and that is a closed group. We don't allow any out, outside advertising lenders coming in and real estate agents coming in and trying to hawk in and, you know, whatever. It's just productive, positive energy in there uh, for our members. So uh, we have smaller eBooks coming out about um, why, why turnkey, why mobile home parks, uh, creating a financial foundation. So we're, we have newsletter. We're, so we're giving out as much, um, free content as we can just to make sure that people understand where our heart is and that we're really trying to change lives. So, and then Mike uh, Foster is now, who's our podcast host. He is trying to, he's starting to go and do these uh, VA loan seminars, one to two hour seminars across the country, which is neat too. So. Very cool. You guys are yeah. very busy and doing a lot of great things. Yeah. What are some of the ideologies that you teach people in order to take that first step? Okay. So Military community in general are, I would say, typically the people who are engaging with us are typically type A personality people anyway, but they don't know about real estate. They don't know what they don't know, um, which is great because then there are no bad habits and, and, and et cetera, et cetera. So 
What we encourage people to do is to first get a baseline education, just learn something. And there are tons of resources out there, right? I mean, you've got, you've got bigger pockets, you've got um, ADPI, you've got, you know, podcasts for days and everything. So just get some level um, of, of basic education, then network. You have to network and build your network. You have to be known, maybe do some Facebook challenges, some like, thir- like, like we did a 30 day live Facebook challenge in our group. And I know you guys have heard of uh, other groups doing the same thing. And that just gets people to start like having their face known and recognized. Um, which doesn't mean a whole lot if you're not trying to create a brand, but it also just helps you to kind of, again, get past that threshold. So learn, network, um, add value is the other one. And then, um, and then uh, make sure that you, uh, let's see, learn, oh, take action. That's the big one. Duh. Um, so learn, network. Um, yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. I just, I just, I, I'm hung up on this here. Learn, <laughs> network, add value, take action. That should roll off the tip of my tongue. Okay. So if you repeat those four steps over and over again, success will hunt you down. That's just the bottom line. Um, and we're, so we encourage people just to take those steps initially and we're there the whole way too. In fact, I post turnkey deals to one of our providers on our, uh, start the spark club and our, on our private, um, app. And I will walk our members through the numbers. If they want to look at them, then they'll look at due diligence folders and packets, scope of work and, pro formas and we'll talk about what makes sense for them and we'll go through their financials and make sure that they're comfortable with the investment and things like that. And then they make the choice. I put them in contact with the provider and then they make the choice from there. So um, really just kind of everything from why to, okay, closed on their first deal. And now we have people who have closed on several deals, even from, we've had people close on deals from Afghanistan and Italy and all over the globe, Japan. So it's pretty neat. Wow. That's awesome. And then that just proves you can do it from anywhere, right? You, you don't have to be, you know, in the United States or, or um, you know, you can be anywhere in the world. I love that. So this, you may have already touched this, but um, what are your conversations like with these active duties and veterans? How are you going about changing their mindset? Because, you know, utilizing real estate as an investment vehicle to some people is not natural. So what are some of the things you're doing to change their mindset? You know, honestly, it is. So we have several team members who are probably better at doing this than I am, but um, I never invested in the, in the TSP the thrift savings plan is essentially like an IRA or retirement plan for military members. So there are people who are actually three of the five of our team are still active duty right now. And so they know kind of keep up to date with it. I've been out for quite a while now. So, um, but understanding the differences between what you get from a TSP or a retirement account versus what the benefits that you may be getting from a real estate investment. Um, it's some, sometimes as simple as a conversation. Sometimes it's, uh, it also is more like, um, you know, Hey, I would read if talking to them saying it's a good idea for you to read, um, X, Y, Z books. Like for instance, I read, uh, Tony Robbins, um, money master the game. And my life was, it'll never be the same after reading that because he interviews all these brilliant billionaires across the world. And they are all talking about how, how, I mean, I don't want to skew your audience, but how expensive it is to have your money in an IRA and, and to be investing that way. And it's, again, that's one of those things. I don't want to dissuade people from doing that. I'm just saying it was an eye opener to me. So I rolled my, I immediately rolled my, my IRA into a self-directed IRA and started investing that into real estate, into various real estate classes. So it's, it's really, it is just, and I didn't really talk very well about what our coaching and mentorship was. It's, it's really everything from uh, taking, that, taking that first contact and really listening to the, the uh, service member and seeing where they want to go, what their goals are, what their ambitions are, how motivated they actually seem, um, and then taking them down the path that they want to go down. So it's easier. It's a path of least resistance that way. If you let them lead the way and just help them and kind of share some of your experiences. And we have enough on people on our team now that we've got, we've got almost every asset class covered um, on our team. So it's pretty neat. Yeah. What would you, what would be the one thing you would tell a military member listening right now that would motivate them to take action today? Um, I would say, look at some testimony. Um, all of us are just regular guys. If, if a Navy chief can go out there and syndicate mobile home parks, he's active duty right now, Tim Kelly. Uh, he's on our team. He's our, he's our syndication chief um, and financial freedom uh, uh, 
foundation chief. He, if he can do it, anybody can. Adam Labar is our multifamily um, education chief. He just bought a 62 unit and he's stationed, this is in Knoxville, and he's stationed in Japan. If he can do it, you can do it. Um, and and the, yeah, there was a little bit of traveling back and forth. It's a long flight, but he made it happen. And it took him two years uh, to get it done. But persistence is, is what got him through that. So, um, you know, those, I mean, we have people, like I said earlier, people buying turnkey properties um, from all over the world. And we're helping them, you know, achieve their dreams slowly but surely in that, in that way. So um, I would just say, look at some testimony, um, call us up and uh, just let us talk, talk you through it and see where your head's at. What's your ultimate goal for active duty passive income? Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, where we see ourselves in five years, uh, we, we're very deliberate about talking about this. Um, we're going to be at some very in, influential conferences, um, doing some great things later this year, and um, which we can't quite talk about yet. But um, where we see ourselves is uh, on a on a massive scale, um, whether it be TV programs, uh, which we're, we are uh, talking about, or um, just doing what I was saying earlier is going around to as many military installations and being in front of battalions of soldiers. So thousands of soldiers at a time and just telling them and, and unbranding. We don't, we don't, we don't want to brand anything. When we go to a military installation, it, we're not selling anything. In fact, we're going to be giving things away. So it's just about making sure people understand that there are alternatives to putting money into a TSP or, or a, a typical money market account or mutual fund or whatever it is and letting it sit and hoping that by 65, you have a million dollars saved. Um, I would, I would rather have a million dollars at 45 than 65. And I think everyone would agree with that. So, um, yeah, that's where we see each other, see ourselves in five years is just, um, creating a brand where we are welcomed into, um, not only in the private sector, but in on military installations across the world, across, across the U S to, to help influence as many veterans as possible. Fantastic. I love your focus. All right. So Lolita is going to take us into our final four questions. Are you ready? I think so. All right, Eric, let's get into it. What is the one tool that you use in real estate investing that you cannot do without? Easy. Team. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, if anyone is in the military listening to this or has served, um, I mean, you could, you could take this into athletics, um, first responders, anyone that, and, and in fact, multifamily syndicators, holy cow, you have to have a team around mm -hmm. you. Without the team, I would be nothing. And I honestly say that I am just one man trying to crunch through things. Your life can be exponentially accelerated. Your success can be exponentially accelerated with the team. Without a team, there's a lot more failure, which is great. This is okay because that's a learning experience. But a team is what makes you, takes you to the next level. Perfect answer. Can you tell us a story about your biggest mistake in real estate investing so far and the main takeaway for our listeners? Yeah, you know, I think... Um, I would say my biggest mistake early on was not taking my advice now, which is to get some good level of education at the beginning. I, I, personally, education, mentorship, and coaching, uh, which we now provide, are things that I feel like I pay for coaching. I have some success in real estate. I have done a lot of different things, but I'm nowhere near where I want to go. So who, ha who is where I want to be? Who is already there? It's a coach that I pay for. And it's the mentors that I have befriended that help me along the way that I have their cell phones that I can, that I can text them. So when someone like me is telling your audience or the people that I encounter, get coaching, get a mentor and just be add value to someone who you want to befriend. And then they, all of a sudden they become a mentor down the line. Once they trust you and know you, that is invaluable. And I wish I had done that. So the one learning lesson for me is I wish I had done that the first time someone told me to do that maybe 10 years ago get coaching, get a mentor. They can help save you 10 years on where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Education first, then take action. Yep. Uh, what is it that you need to do now to grow your life to the next level? I think all I need to do is keep adding value. Honestly, um, networking as, as kind of dovetails into that because everybody that I talk to now, um, I'm being intentional about listening to what they're saying. I used to be very kind of just 
thinking about myself all the time before this is before ADPI came along. Um, but when I changed that mindset and I said, you know what, this is a real person looking through their eyes at me and there's a soul behind those eyes. What do they need? What do they want in life? And once I started kind of dialing into that and realizing that they're just like me on the other side of, you know, in, on the other side of their own eyes, I can, I can then say, Hey, I know a guy in that area and I'll connect you with them or whatever that little piece of, of thing is that they're looking for. When I can add that value to as many people as possible, it all comes back, uh, back to you. And, and whether or not that's giving your time, giving your knowledge or whatever it is, just looking for that opportunity to add value to other people. That's all I want. Fantastic. And finally, Eric, where can people find out more about you? Uh, I am on Facebook. I am on Instagram at Real Eric Upchurch. And you can also get a hold of me at eric at activedutypassiveincome.com. And I really want to help um, anybody who emails me. So please, please do. Perfect. Congratulations on the success and growth of ADPI. What you do for veterans is so inspiring, and I am confident you've made and will continue to make such a positive impact on so many lives. So super inspiring. Thanks so much for being on our show, Eric. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks, Eric.